Welcome to Deer Season 23, Episode 33. This particular episode is going to be a special one. Earlier in the season, if you've been watching all the different episodes, you saw mom at the young age of 90 go out and kill a deer with her crossbow. Well, we immediately started talking to her after that about, are you going to be able to come up for the Iowa gun season? Gun season. She had a tag, but she's 90 and she felt like her season was good once she killed that deer with a crossbow. And she's a little intolerant to the cold weather as well. So we finally talked her into it. Terry was gonna be in camp, mom's in camp. Taylor's supposed to be in camp. However, Mabry got sick, then Taylor caught it, Austin caught it. So she's gonna stay in Utah and uh, take care of Mabry and herself, obviously. So before we take mom hunting, we gotta make sure she's on target. So we wanna do a little shooting. We're gonna head to the range, see how she does. Real that baby. That looks pretty far away to me. <laughs> oh, Mom, that's yeah, close. that is far. I've never shot that far. Yeah. Oh, yes, you have. We'll let you uh, just aim well, a little bit. Last year, you had you shooting like three times that far, Mom. Huh? Yeah, we were practicing 150 last yeah. year. Yeah. There's no bullet in it, is there? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she gave it a snake eye. <laughs> yeah. No, there's no bullet. I'm mad at you and you. You just aim for a bit. Well, I gotta find it. Okay. You see it? Yeah, got it. Well, you could practice one time if you want. There's no bullet in it, okay? Oh, okay. So you're just gonna practice your squeeze here. Did that okay. kick? No, it didn't kick. Yeah, that's why we wanted to let them know. Let them know that her her hearing aids are also a suppressor, so she does not need the hearing protection like all the rest of us have. I'm gonna get mine here in a second. For sure. Where is she? You find it. I don't like the way that's against her chest. I, Hand me that heavy coat there. Tell me okay, I'm you're 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 ready to fire whenever yeah. you're on it. You're hot. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she <laughs> shot the black square off the target. I probably missed it. There's a binoculars behind you. Uh-uh. I think you hit perfect. <laughs> uh-uh, what? It looks good. I didn't yeah. like that. <laughs> she shot the black square off the target. <laughs> On the deer? The tape we put there. Yeah, she so you made off. a perfect oh, shot. You yeah. hit, hit right where you're That's aiming. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> good job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm on it. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you, okay? Okay. How's that? Uh, that's good. Get get tight to your shoulder so it I won't kick it. you. It's not on fire yet, Mom. Okay. Right. Now you tell me when you're good. I'm good. Okay, you're ready to fire. Ready. Take your time. Oh God. <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm glad you were back. <laughs> Good God. Sitting down might be better when you got I think oh Perry was just going to let you fall, Mom. I was yeah. looking through the yeah. binoculars. Yeah. I didn't even know what was up at all. He just sat there and looked. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Just a little laugh. <laughs> yeah, it did. God bless her. She <laughs> almost knocked her over here with the shot. <laughs> uh, we're going to go see how she did. We had a black piece of tape up the first shot, which she knocked off the target. And now she's a little bit left with that shot. So we'll see what we got here. She hit the tape perfectly first time. The tape was right here. This time she's about two inches to the left. So we might just uh, might go with that or I might have her shoot it one more time. And if she stays left, we'll pull it over a little bit. But I'll take a picture and show her what she did. You did great, Mom. Your, the tape was right there. See the mark from the tape? And you hit the tape. That's okay. your first oh, shot. Okay. Oh. And then your second shot when you were standing, uh -huh. that's about two inches yeah. to the left. Oh. Yeah. So, so I think, I think we ought sitting. to shoot one more time just to confirm that you're you're right in there and you're not left. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll see. I think let's, we should let's try shoot sitting one. again, maybe. Yeah. Because it seems like it's just a little more solid. <laughs> mm -hmm. than, uh, I'm, uh, I'm sure it is. <laughs> oh. The orange spot. The orange spot. Got it. Okay, I'm gonna zoom My in. God, you're finding it pretty quick, Mom. So that yeah, eye relief must be decent for you. I think well. she's getting closer too. I'm ready. Tell me if you're still on him. Still on. 
Okay, you're good to go whenever you see it, when you're on that orange, right on the orange. It's gonna be bullseye. Yep, bullseye. See, it didn't kick as bad that time. Yeah, she shot, she touched the left hole. Good job. <laughs> Go waiting on a front, and uh, we've got it. Yesterday, mom came up, Terry came up. Mom shot well on the range, and uh, tonight we're going to take mom out together. We've never done that before, so that's going to be exciting. Epic, really? I hope so. It's legendary. If she kills one, and even if she doesn't kill one, it's still legendary because we've never hunted with her. But she didn't start hunting until age 85, I think. Yeah. And we've kind of, I've had her at the farm, and you know, and Forrest and I have worked with her, and Mark's had her up here a good bit and worked with her. She's killed several nice deer up here. Yeah. So hopefully tonight's the night where she gets another one on the ground. Yeah, it's exciting, and uh, a good friend of ours, Dustin Mueller, invited us to come and sit his his uh, farm because he's got a blind that's on the ground, and that really helps with mom. Many of ours are elevated, which is sometimes a challenge for her in bulky clothes and cold weather to get her up in that blind. So this one's on the ground. He's got some shooters in there he's identified, and just want to say thanks to Dustin for allowing us to take her over there. Absolutely, absolutely. And the fact that it is on the ground would just speed the whole process up. And the wind's great. We're actually going to go there right now and take a chair in there and another chair and, and her bog that she sit that she shoots off of and uh, make sure we're ready for tonight. So. It's super windy, so we should be able to get in there and get out of there without doing too much damage. going to go out here it is opening day of second gun in Iowa and uh, we're going to run three crews tonight so that's pretty exciting myself Tyler Terry and mom are going together Perry's going to go with Mr. Brian have a good time there along with Stacy and then Christian Wade and Forrest so we got three different people shooting and it should be one heck of a night we've been waiting on a front and here it is guys there's actually snowflakes falling and it's gonna be a good time what do you think brother Mark, this footage that I'm laying down is exquisite. I'll bet. <laughs> we got plenty of cameras rolling, I know that. And it, and it does feel like the weather's right. This Woo! is all about waiting on a front, and it couldn't have been any more timely. It's True. here. It's here. So let's yeah. make it happen tonight. Oh, I, I tell you what, she's kind of fired up a little when bit, too. She's yeah. in the it's cross pretty hairs. spicy today. Yeah. I think so, too. Yeah. Yeah. I think today could be the day. At age 90. She's in the truck where she's warm, so. Yeah, she don't, she's not really fond of this weather. <laughs> all right, well, we'll get after it. Everybody, good luck. Thank you. We'll What's your prediction, mister? Uh, my it. prediction is two of three will go down tonight. I like it. Okay, lean back on Tyler. There you go. Well, Mom, what do you think? Well, I'm thinking it's getting kind of monotonous here. <laughs> Slaking some snow, uh, windy, cold, and so far we're waiting for something to come out. Just, just monotonous. <laughs> it's kind of discouraging. <laughs> well, discouraging to you because you get cold easy, but encouraging to myself, yeah. Terry, and Tyler, because they we know the deer like this weather. It should make them move anyway. They may not like it any more than you, but we're on a food source, and hopefully this, this front gets them on that food source. Yeah, and we're a little early yet, so we're just patiently waiting. Absolutely. And hope got everything set. We're ready. We'll just, just uh, see something come out. She shot well yesterday. We've taken some time to aim today, if we can get the gun properly on her shoulder outside of these thick clothes will be all right. And yeah. Um, see if we can get on a deer if he comes out. 
You're ready, aren't you? I am ready, yeah. Just for just a little excitement. <laughs> Something will come walking out. We'll see. Just cold, cold wind. We're excited too. Fingers crossed. He does there. Yeah, he looks very four. 95 yards. <laughs> he looks very fourish. I think we better just be patient, I think. For you. See him over there? See him, yeah. Are we waiting? <laughs> I think we'll wait for one a little older. Is he too little? He might be too young. See that deer mom standing there? The one right in the middle of the field. Right in the middle of the field. All the way at the back. Right at the edge of the woods? Alright. There. See if you can see it through the scope. Boy, he's broadside right there, Mom. Good oh, Deer behind him. Yeah. Deer behind him. There's two close together. Together. Turn. Turn. Okay. Okay, yeah. Stop him. Shut up. Oh, son of a gun. You know, the deer started coming out. It's a little cloudy, a little overcast, and they moved a little bit later than normal. You add that to the clouds, and it was just tough for mom to be able to see. Uh, through her scope. That's the one thing I think she struggles with the most is finding the actual target animal, getting it in the scope, and then staying there. Sometimes she has a tendency to pull out or look over the scope and then you start all over again. Uh, but add cloudy day, low light, it just was not a good shot situation. But it was a dress rehearsal. We had a good time. We'll see what we can do the following evening. This episode of DOD TV is brought to you by Hawk, designed for those who push their limits to hunt stronger, safer, and smarter. Hunt from above.
I don't know which one's the biggest. Mom. Is this the one on the left? Okay. He's got his head up. Yes. Hey, Maddie. Yeah, I go. Are you on him? Yeah. Kill him. believe this but I had said a little prayer like come on give us some give us some help here and by God he showed up and two of them showed up before dark that's what gets me yes oh and you gotta go look for him now we can feed that growling belly of yours we got (laughs) well even climbing up like getting to the top of that ladder I was like look at the effort she goes through just to do this yeah absolutely we're so proud of you for doing and this was the hardest my legs are just those boots are heavy. Yeah. You did good. Well, you did good, good, Mom. And socks in. That's a heck of a deer. Yeah. Oh. Congratulations. I'm so tickled. I'm so tickled. How about it, Mama? Excited? Give me a hell yeah. Yeah. A little hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> oh, in broad daylight. Stay right there. <laughs> Congratulations, Mom. Oh, I'm so excited and so happy. I didn't ever think I'd do it again. And I said this would be my last, and it happened. <laughs> <laughs> she says that every, every, every year. Every one, she says this that. Is so my we can stop saying that. <laughs> what a beautiful 10 point with a kicker, just a gorgeous deer. and. You made it happen, Mom. Congratulations. Uh We'll uh, sit him here and just enjoy the moment. Beautiful deer, as pretty as they get. A beautiful 10-point with a kicker, and luckily he stood there for us, huh? Stood there and pulled for us, and like he was waiting. He was waiting. That was, it just goes to show you, it doesn't hurt to say a little prayer, because I, about two minutes before they walked out, I was 
I was praying pretty hard for somebody to help us, and I think uh, he did. I think our I think our dear dad did. was watching there watching was, down on us. There was another one, but it was not quite this uh, large. About the same. <laughs> so you were managing, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Pretty deer. He's just beautiful. Very pretty. Beautiful buck. I'm very proud, and uh, I'm going to hang up my shingle, I think, after this. <laughs> this is it. Hanging up her hunting shingle. <laughs> and I thank uh, everybody for their patience, and uh, it, uh, we didn't have too long a wait this evening, and it just uh, was perfect. Wasn't quite as monotonous tonight, was it? No. <laughs> Good. Congratulations, Mom. Thank Good you, job, boys. Mama. And I'm proud. Very proud. And rightfully so. You should be. Right there. Smiling. That's a great shot. Big smile. I love it. <laughs> Congratulations. Congrats. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Beautiful deer. It was a happy moment. <laughs> <laughs> I was excited and it was uh, before it got too dark, so it was great. It was pretty early, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was I don't even know what time for sure. Maybe four fifteen or yeah, something. Four thirty, yeah. yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah. Great. We saw a couple of Another buck and uh, yeah, there was another couple of eight point with him, about the same yeah. size. Yeah, so I was we happy. just said, just... Terry said, which one? I said, whichever one turns broadside, <laughs> and then they were both broadside. <laughs> you got him though. That's right in the uh, open field. That Seventy-five was... or eighty yards. Oh, nice, very nice Good shot. shot. So, Good shot. I'm very proud. Down he went. So <laughs> down let's, he went. let's go back and show him the horns, Mom. Yeah. We can take another inch off. The Woo! <laughs> Look at him. Nice. Heck nice. yeah. He's a beautiful dude. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful dude. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Yeah, you sure yeah. that was last. We just wanted to keep doing it as long as you can. Tyler was a huge help getting her in and out of the blind. Big oh, yeah. Big he Tyler. Was, he was okay. very. <laughs> without him, it would have well, been. Well, you'd still be sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> sitting there. We'd have left you there. <laughs> Thank everybody. Good job, Mom. So I think one of the game-changing things that have occurred for us that have changed the way we hunt over the last five, six years are the muddy blinds. Whether it be the Bull, the Bull XL, the Penthouse, any of them, if you look at how they're constructed, you look at the walls, you look at the windows, you look at the way the roof fits, they're built to last a lifetime. So it's incredible how many times we've been able to fool a deer's nose. And that's exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to something that changed the game for us. These particular blinds have changed the game for us. We used to build what we called set proof blinds. Anymore, the muddy handles that for us. And I think anybody that hasn't sat in a blind and tried that really doesn't understand how many deer they're not seeing. You know, and second to set is overall noise with the insulation in the, in the walls and the roof, they really don't hear you on the inside either. Now, of course, we're trying to be quiet, but if you do drop a rangefinder or you do make a little bump, generally, those deer do not hear you, especially if there's any wind speed outside. And if you need to move one, you can put skids on the bottom of the blind, or if you need to pick it up and move it with a tractor, you can do that so you're not stuck to one individual place. They're pretty easy to move, and uh, we're very mobile with them, and when we need to attack, we move it and put it where we need it. You know, blinds aren't for everyone. A lot of guys want to stick to the tree stands, which is okay. They've got those too. But if you want more information on the blinds or you're curious about them at all, go to gomuddy.com and check out all the specs. Pretty cool. All right, now, mom's tag is punched and brother Terry's up to bat. He's got a second season gun tag. So myself, him and Forrest are heading out. We're going into a spot with two or three different shooters. And uh, this is a spot where Perry had killed a deer earlier in the season. Uh, we've got some bucks. There's one in particular buck that's really old. He's got a big sweeping beam on one side, a nice four point side on the other. We'll see if we see him. The trail camera pictures show he's there a lot. Maybe he'll step out for Brother Terry. Before I go, I've got the buck decoy set up so I can just see his head from that green field over there. Hopefully he'll come out feet early. See him. You want to come through the gap, try to get down with him, give Terry a shot tonight. That cornfield up ahead of here. Some green in it, so hopefully it works out. Pretty jacked up. Morris and I came out early to put the decoy up. Oh, Terry's taking me. All right, well, after uh, last night's joyous occasion with mom, tonight we're going out. Terry's up to bat. We'll see what can happen. 
she did really, really well. And, and uh, you know, just to watch her at that age, be able to navigate those steps, climbing up and getting out. And, and it's difficult sometimes for her to aim, which we knew that, but by golly, she put a shot on him, put him on the ground. She got him on the ground, at least anyway. Yeah, that's, that's all that matters. She was a little off, but the shot found a mark and he went down and we'll see if uh, we can do the same for Terry today. Isn't that it? sounds like a plan, mister. Let's do it. Wind's right. perfect. So watch now, they'll spook <laughs> opening a window or something stupid, you know. But we made her. Group of four bucks. Same ones that were out there when we crawled up. That one shingle up by itself, he's just left of that. He should be open right now. He's in a dip right now between the, there's a couple little shingle hooks. So he's between those two. He'll come up on the Yeah, he should. I was just trying to get him where you can pop down. Yeah, that doe there to the right's looking at him. Or she's in the grass looking down at him. Yeah, that's right where I lost him. Oh, that's that big nine. Hot and damp, boys. He was up at 380. I sent you his picture the other morning.
See you in the back there, Terry. Big deer over the right, too. Oh, yeah. God, it looks like a mature deer. Yeah. See him in the back there, Terry. There's a buck between us. Oh, that's the beaver buck. That's the beaver buck. The one to the right, Mark. The one right behind all the deer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's like seven or eight. I saw it like in in there, but I want to review it real quick. I thought he, it just he re reacted slowly to it. Yeah, he did. I it I felt I good. It. I thought I saw it hitting good. It felt good. Like I was on him, on him. Okay. Well, which I didn't see where he ran out. Kind of right behind the blind from us. Okay. He had his tail up for a second, then he tucked it as he was going on, but I thought the reaction looked pretty good. Yeah, the heck, line shook. Like, I shook in the mm -hmm. shot, but I thought I saw the hit in here. Let's, let's look at it. Hopefully. Let's hope. <laughs> oh, let, me, let me see what we got here. That was pretty awesome, boys. <laughs> Sneak it in. How cool was that? That was awesome. Man. That was turkey skills, one on one, right there, <laughs> four on four. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a factor. I like the fact that you can see that. 
I mean, how do you hit him it's better than that? 175 <laughs> yards, mister. Great shot. Thank you, Tom and Allison. They Thank you, good. Traditions. Thanks, Forrest, for getting these babies dialed in like they are. I mean, these things are shooting nails. And we do practice a and good bit. We, him and I do, so we were prepared. But nitro, thank you, Traditions. That Nitro Fire is unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely. It unbelievable. is, without doubt, the single best muzzleloader on the market, without <laughs> batting an eye. I mean, there's no question. <laughs> that one shoots nails. That was fun. Man, so thank you, brother. Yeah, that was fun. Awesome. Seeing your mom kill that deer last night, you guys being there together, and then come out tonight and go back to back nights. It's pretty. He's gonna have that. You, you, you know, you you sit back and you go, you really deserve it of all this, and and I, you know, sometimes you think you are, but sometimes you know you're not. <laughs> and this was pretty special, it really was. Like you said, her killing that deer last night was the greatest season, you know, or the way to top off a season, and then doing this this evening, wow. Oh, no. Whopper. On a field full of deer, <laughs> us climbing up in here. Thank you, brother. Yeah, thank you, fun. thank you. That was awesome. Good stuff. Good, Good stuff, job, man. Forrest. Thank you. I'm just glad we weren't sitting in that brush back there. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun, brother. Kind of a memorable, pretty memorable with mom last yeah. night and then this whole turkey, turkey sneak. What a beautiful evening, too. Oh, God. Gorgeous. These are these are the nights we remember. I still can't believe we snuck up that one little deer out there. That was pretty cool. He didn't do anything to help us. <laughs> I didn't even film him from up there. <laughs> Horst and I started out putting him out this afternoon. I thought he was gonna make a big difference. I didn't even look at him. Alright, let's see. We're gonna put some blood somewhere. It looks like loans. We didn't see him fall. I know. Well, I, I said he ran behind that. He ran left. Big old Brutus dog. How nice. Wow. Oh, smelling. Wow. Oh, he's big, big. Here's the exit. Oh, oh, look at the ball. Oh, what a shot. It's the exit. Look at his body. Wow. Wow. We'll get a tag on him right away. This is one I love putting a tag on. I messed up that mask measure. <laughs> well, he is legally tagged. Look at there. Well, here we sit behind a deer that you think is how old? I think he's seven and a half. We had pictures of him last year and he was a four by four, but this side was a little weaker than the other, and he looked fully mature then too, so I'm fairly certain he's at least seven and a half. I mean, I thought he was six last year, so. Beautiful shot, brother, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, can't say enough, and I can't thank Traditions enough for manufacturing a gun like the Nitro Fire. That thing is absolutely nails. Nails, isn't it? Yes, Beautiful. it is. You know, a mature deer, regardless what the rack is or what it scores, I am tickled to death to kill a deer this big and this old up here in Iowa. I just can't well, thank you enough. Case in point, you passed a 150 or 155 inch nine point to get to the old deer and that's uh, what management's all about. And But Terry's like me, man, when they're old like that, there's just something about it excites you. And we were excited after everything we went through to get in that blind <laughs> and we had the decoy out that didn't play into it tonight, but it ended up being a great, great hunt here in uh, Feedback, just awesome. I, and I think you said it best, it was three experienced turkey hunters that slid and <laughs> Slipped and slid, and we slid up the ladder, and we got into the into the blind. So uh, I, I can't say enough good things about it. It was just a lot of fun, memorable hunt. Mom killing hers last night. Good you stuff. Know, what a great two days here with you. It's been absolute best. God bless the great state of Iowa. We love it up here. So much fun. You know, I think one of the things that's most special about deer season, or our hunting season in general is the ability to get together with your friends and your family and really enjoy that quality time together. Sometimes life goes by so fast, you don't get the opportunity to be alone in nature or together in a blind uh, or all day long as you prepare for either morning hunt, evening hunt, whatever it is. So I think it's a quality experience when you get together with family and friends. That's one of the reasons I think deer hunting brings so many people so close together. A, they share a common passion, 
B, they get to spend quality time together, and C, when it all comes together, there's nothing better than deer season with the family in camp. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV is brought to you by DeerCast, the most advanced deer movement predictor ever.